jacking up the corner of this porch roof. This actually makes the third time um, we've jacked a portion of this house up. Um, down below me here, uh, we had actually, before we even moved in, jacked the house up and replaced the sill. Um, the sill had deteriorated, and when it did, it caused the corner of this porch also to set. When I went to go hang my gutters, I realized I couldn't get enough fall from this corner to the end of the porch over there, so it became a necessity. For the jacking, I put together a temporary post. I essentially ganged together two two-by-fours uh, and screwed from either side. Um, it's sitting on top of a hydraulic bottle jack. I picked up the, a four-ton automotive um, bottle jack in Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. I drilled a hole in the center of my support to accept the head of the jack here. Um, here. had to reset my, my jack. It was sitting on um, on the skirt board on the uh, of the porch and the porch was starting to depress a little. Um, and so I decided to reset onto this uh, flagstone paver, uh, old flagstone paver. Um, and that seems to be going fairly well. I haven't broken it yet. You can see it's elevating a little. So I am working on the corner here. Um, as I'm cranking, I'm, I'm giving it a few pumps at a time, um, and I can hear, I can hear the ceiling and the and the framing, as well as this column over here, uh, giving a little bit of a a uh, squeal. Uh, so I'm trying to give it a pump or two at a time, and uh, move up slowly. Harbor Freight um, tools for those those tools that you just don't use all the time but are handy to have. I'm um, a good deal.